Hello, this is how you mount a Windows share on a Linux computer using slash etsy slash fstab and the CIFS file system. So I do not use anything else but slash sc slash fstab when I connect to Windows shares. I do not use the SMB colon protocol in um, KIO, KD, Plasma, Dolphin. I do not use the equivalent from the GNOME community. I straight mount all of the Windows shares that I need in FSTab. This increases the speed. I have less issues. All of the applications can see the Windows share, whereas if I would use the SMB KIO protocol in KD Plasma, some applications which use KD Framework KIO will see the files, some others will not see. There's complications with uh, KIO Fuse, so KIO Fuse. All sorts of issues and uh, bugs can appear when you add more layers of uh, complicated software. Instead of just going for the Windows kernel, there's um, the CIFS Linux kernel module in kernel mode. You should just use that. Gives the best performance and uh, the stablest possible experience. So I've searched on uh, the internet for Ubuntu how to mount a Windows share. There's also the Arch wiki for the Samba package. In here you go to the client chapter. Let's see what this says. So as part of the Samba project, there's an um, additional binary package for Debian Ubuntu, for Arch Linux and uh, the other major Linux operating system families, which is called CIFS Utils, which we will need to install. Let's do that. The Linux kernel module CIFS.ko will do the major part of the heavy lifting here, but this requires a bit of uh, user mode functionality, which is located in the CIFS-utils package. Then it says that we should have a directory where we want to mount. So let's do that under media so this is 192 168 122 31 and then uh, c dollar sign okay and then we'll need a um, line which uh, contains this part, but then we will have additional parameters into this line in slash etc etc slash fstab. Let's see first if you can ping the Windows machine, this one. It does work. Let's add it slash sc slash fs tab. Let's prepare the line first. Okay. So the server name is the IPv4 address. 
the share name is C dollar sign. I have enabled Windows administrative shares on uh, this Windows uh, computer. The directory that we have created is this one. CIFS is the um, file system type. These are the parameters and the two final columns in slash etsy slash fstab. UEID 1000. And we'll need a username and password pair in order to connect to the Windows machine. We will not put the password in plain text in slash etsy slash fstab. Instead, we will have a file like this. This. This is the content of the file. This uh, file type is also documented in the Arch wiki. In here, they recommend that um, the file that stores the Windows share username and password is uh, available to all users, not just to my user. And that I should store it into slash Etsy slash Samba. I will store it in my home directory and um, I will not make this um, Windows share available and auto mounted by slash s slash fstab. I will use no auto. Okay, the username is admin like this. I'll put the password in here. So I have added the password in uh, this position in the configuration file. We'll need a parameter like this. We cannot use tilde, so we'll need to put the correct username, so slash home slash Then we'll want to have um, the um, ownership of the files which come from Windows be changed such that my current user is uh, the owner. So something like this. This part is not needed any longer. And I want it to not mount automatically. So server IP4 address, share, directory on this computer, file system type, don't mount automatically. All of the files should be owned by this user. Use Windows user and Windows password are stored here. And then uh, additional parameters will probably be added over time. The first one which uh, I can think of is uh, the UTF-8 or Unicode encoding for the file names.
no fail net dev. You should make sure that um, the share name does not contain spaces. There's never a need to have uh, Windows shares exported, which have spaces in the name. If you do such a thing, then you will need this uh, escape code. ASCII code space in base 8. Okay, and then we have this IO char set UTF-8. Let's see if uh, this already works okay. And then over time, we'll um, improve the list of parameters. And once we find out a list of parameters that works okay, for most situations, we should uh, document this line, put it in our own wiki or in a blog post or somewhere, because we're going to edit slash add slash fs tab often and uh, replace this good line with uh, the name of the new Windows machine, the name of the new Windows share and the name of the new Windows um, share mount directory. The rest will also change because if you have different mach Windows machines that you need to connect to, you will have different uh, .smb credentials files for each of the Windows user plus password combination. So we're logged in as the user root to the current machine. Let's see if nano works. At the end of the FS tab, we will need to add this. Add a trailing new line. Let's save, Control X. Y, enter. And then we just go mount minus A. So because we had uh, no auto in this uh, line in slash s slash fs tab, just doing uh, mount minus A did not uh, mount this partition if you actually want to mount it, you need to specify the mount directory, for instance. So you go mount, then space, and then the directory where you want to mount. So slash media, slash one, and then you can press tab to autocomplete. And now we can uh, inspect the um, directory which exist in the Windows shell. And everything works as expected. The um, Windows share has been mounted to slash media slash the IP address of the Windows computer and then underscore C. This is actually the Windows administrative share C dollar sign mounted in here. The current user, which in my case is named nmarusp, the Linux user, is the owner of all of the files. The steps that we took were to install enough binary packages such that the Windows kernel module for CIFS works correctly. 
which on Ubuntu means installing the binary package CIFS-utils. Then I have created the directory slash media slash 192 underscore 168 underscore 122 underscore 31 underscore C. This I have created as the Linux user root. So this procedure requires that you are um, have administrative privileges. You could you can use sudo, for instance, such that you can become the user root. You will need to create a directory under slash media. You will need to edit slash etsy uh, slash fs stuff, and you will need to run the command, which is mount and then this full path, this directory. Then we have created a Windows user and password credential file, which is in my home directory named .smb credentials with just two lines, username, no spaces equals, and then the Windows username without domain. The, um, Windows computer is not member of a Microsoft Active Directory domain, but is member of a workgroup. And then password equals again no spaces around um, the equal, and then my password, the password of the Windows user. In um, slash s slash fs tab, we have appended as the final line this line. So the directory where to mount is this one, the server IPv4 address, the administrative share, C$ dollar sign, the fact that we want the file system, Linux file system CIFS, the Windows share should not be mounted automatically. Why? Because uh, maybe this um, Windows share is over a VPN, maybe this Linux computer is a laptop and cannot temporarily connect to this Windows machine. Maybe this Windows share is actually one which is created by a um, SMB client as part of uh, the TS client. SMB share that is created by RDP clients. So there's um, all sorts of possibilities that when you start your Linux computer, the, um, you cannot connect to the Windows machine or um, to the Windows share. So there's no need to make the Linux computer boot slower whenever we'll actually need to read or write files from the Windows share, then we'll run automatically a command line, which is this one. sudo mount and then the name of the directory. And for the name of this directory, autocompletion works. So if you go slash media slash one, you can press the tab key and it will autocomplete. Then uh, all of the files that are owned by local system account, by administrator, etc., other Windows users should be owned by now, from now on, by my Linux user. I specify where I store the Windows user and password. And um, this is it. Once you finish editing slash s slash fs tab, you can just mount the Windows share and everything will work from there on. All of the Linux processes will be able to know how to read and write to this directory. And while doing so, they will actually read and write from the Windows share. Thank you.